Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Abigail Bosire. Welcome. So today we are going to talk about the hospital bag and we're going to start with the baby side. So, for beginners, you have to have this book. It's the hospital book. It has all the details of the mother and all the details of the child's well-being before birth and also after birth. So everything is cohesively placed in here. And number two, don't forget your Linda Mama card. So I chose a public hospital. Uh, we have, we think, thank you Margaret Kenyatta for the zero campaign. Now mothers can give birth for free without any charges on their head. So don't be scared, go to the hospital, it's going to be free of charge. Um, so I'm going to be taking things from the bag. It's down here. So I had... Um, a number of vests for my baby so I chose uh, two long sleeves two long sleeves and um, I had two short sleeves two short sleeved vests for her a few moments later sorry for that then um, so for clothes I I decided to buy the ones from easily they come in a pack so you have um, two trousers and two tops then you have um, mittens you'll have some mittens a hat and a small bib it's budget friendly so for all those items you're going to pay a thousand I think it's a thousand but the problem that I found with it yes it's soft on the inside but they're not so much of an absorbent so luckily for me i had um a slip suit for my baby so this one was it and it has mittens mittens on their own so if you can get such slip suits please do buy them and i also added a hat yes um and then um don't forget don't forget the diapers yes carry um a pack of 10 will be enough but if you feel like you're going to be there longer you could do a bigger one so this is not the original one that i carried i carried the one for 10 packs it was 220 pampas newborn or if you're not able to afford the diapers you can do the napkins the nappies sorry nappies and the liners they also do well but because of the meconium meconium the first poop for the baby, very disgusting, very black, and it doesn't clean off. So I'll advise for the first um, poop, just do diapers, something that you can just throw away. Then, I carried some swaddle blankets for her. I carried um, two of them. Then, I carried, I carried uh, two liners. These were hand-me-downs I was given by a friend of mine, so zero shillings. Then I carried um, some coconut oil. This is the oil that I carried for her. It's coconut oil by Asili and it's, it has, it's a cold press, 100% cold press. I love cold press, though they are quite pricey, but they do the job. Um, then don't forget baby wipes i got the um, the hanan flushable water wipes um because this and um, this is a newborn and um to some extent they're very sensitive this up to now these are my go-to okay so i really loved this sleeping bag she wore it like for two weeks and she outgrew it i felt bad but she wore this at that night at the hospital and it's quite cozy and thick and very warm and what i love about it it also has the sleeves most of this thing i thrifted most of her clothes i thrifted so this um this one i i, I don't i don't seem to find one the ones with sleeves so i was very happy when i found this one and lastly i had her blanket so don't forget Babies are quite cold. I got this one from Isili and it was going for a thousand bob. 
I understand that people who are not who are skeptical when it comes to thrifting clothes for newborns, but if you have to make life work, you gotta do what you gotta do. And then so now to my side of what I carried. Don't forget your bonnets. Don't forget your bonnets for the night. I'm telling you, I was supposed to go for the salon that weekend. I was supposed to give birth on September 9th, but I gave birth on August 14th. So I was not that ready. But, wow, life caught up with me in the middle of the night. And I I hadn't done my hair. I was in Matuta, so I had to go to hospital that way. So don't forget to put this. This will really help you. And then, you buy this. If you don't want to go wash your panties over and over again. These are maternity pads. The ones that I found are Duffy maternity Duffy maternity pants slash pads they do a good job they really do a good job and they're comfortable so don't worry about it i tried looking for the ones by always but i couldn't find them anywhere so i got this from easily the shops that are exclusively maternity so you might find this there then um don't forget to carry cotton this is a public hospital they're going to ask for cotton so i've already used mine it's not new um buy the biggest you can the biggest because those checks you're going to have to keep changing these pads so the this cotton so this is what they use and you won't be wearing your underwears i'm very sorry but giving birth isn't decent in any way so bear with me then i had um for my night clothes i had my night dress and i carried a robe for a cover up so the hospital tends to be a little bit warm because of all the babies that are being born but at some time it's going to be cold so please do carry a sweater in case it's cold and don't forget these little things these two socks then to our hygiene kind of thing you can carry soap but if you can buy shower gel please do buy shower gel do carry a toilet paper like just carry don't don't forget this toilet paper maybe your skincare routine shenanigans your toothbrush and your colgate don't forget those two then i carried my exfoliating <laughs> exfoliating glove for showering and for like, really cleaning myself up because that's a hospital so you may never know what bacteria caught up with you but do carry something to shower with then um i didn't carry a towel i carried a lesser because it's smaller and i can throw it away after hospital because um if i felt it was it got contaminated in any way or another i would just do away with it and it's not that expensive to throw away a lesser then uh for my checks guys i had this uh tiny little mini dress yes for the checks you have to be ready for the checks just wear something comfortable that and it's short enough not too short it can cover you up but something that is easy to like for the checks then I carried a Maasai Shuka because um, those are hospital beds. You don't know who was on top of that bed. You don't know what they had or what issues they had or how they bled. And you also have a cut somewhere. So to avoid contamination, just carry a Maasai blanket and spread on that bed. Okay? Spread it so that you can have a very comfortable place to lie on and you are at least safe. Then I carried... Um, two bras i chose the ones without the wire so that could allow the milk production and the flow as a new mother your milk is going to take quite some time to show up but it will eventually so just place the baby it was uncomfortable to pay and to painful but um it will come just keep suckling your baby even though there's nothing there it will eventually come the baby will stimulate their production then i carried um don't forget your panties then don't forget your your dress your your dress for when you check out 
yeah so i i carried this dress so the lovely thing about it is it's very here this is the chest and it has a press button right on top of here it's a v-neck so i could easily breastfeed so i just pop that press button out and at the waist it, it has some extension it was quite wide so after you give birth you're not going to have a flat tummy immediately you're going to look like you're six months pregnant so do carry something comfortable not something so tight i guess that's it for the suitcase so i had a very small tiny bag and this is where i carried the a file do carry a file hey <laughs> you guys carry your notes carry those scans carry everything that you've ever done at the hospital concerning your child all the medications prescriptions just make sure you have them all in here then um for a public hospital carry a plate have a cup and last but not least a spoon then carry some water buy as big as you can but this is okay this is a five liter one for your drinking two for maybe brushing your teeth three you could wash your plate with it some of the sinks didn't have water this is a public hospital so please bear with it as it is and then i had a smaller water bottle where i could just put in some water I don't have snacks here. You could do some snacks if they'll allow you to, to carry food into the hospital. And then I had a little pouch right here, a very accessible pouch. And inside it, I had my little tissue paper, a remise, um, my lip balm, some hand sanitizer. Please have hand sanitizer. Some hand lotion because of all the cleansing and all that stuff. Don't forget your Linda Mama card, please, guys. Then I had my ATM card. And please don't forget your ID card. And so that's it for the little pouch. Then don't forget your phone and recharge it. Have some credit in it. Then also carry a carry a charger. Make sure you have your charger. You could also carry your earphones for music. I carried I carried earphones, but I can't find them. So these are pods. You could also carry your headphones for relaxation music and all that shenanigans then i had a power bank just in case all the pots were not available and everyone was charging at the same time you could have your power bank with you so that's it for the small bag then don't forget a missing public hospital and one thing you should buy things uh before you go to hospital because at the hospital ground they're going to be hell expensive so get something unique and different and something that doesn't look like everyone else then i had my my little crocs so i didn't carry any other shoes apart from this i checked in with this and i checked out with this i went home with these shoes i didn't want to carry a lot of stuff so guys i think i've covered everything that i could if i've if i've forgotten anything i'm going to list everything down below on my description box and if you've stayed this far thank you very much if you are about to give birth i wish you all the best and congratulations for anyone who is having baby fever i wish you all the best too and thank you for sticking around if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe to my channel it really helps me grow this time round guys i'm going to be as consistent as possible so please 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 subscribe i won't let you down yes and don't forget to thumbs up this is going to push my content to other people's uh, recommendation may god bless you goodbye